I've been uh, so far impressed with the system. It's the it's the backup and the support that means a lot to me. You're now heating up your hot water from from free electricity rather than burning hydrocarbon. It's been charged up to full by sort of 11 in the morning. Yeah, it's a very very neat and tidy installation. Hi, I'm Chris from Kimball Solar and today I'm with Tim, who's one of our customers. We installed 10 panels and a Give Energy 9.5 kilowatt battery system on his home. And Tim has agreed to say a few words about his experience with Kimball Solar. So Tim, it was about five weeks ago that you had your installation done. How's it been so far? Uh, well, we've um, recently had a few slight snags because we've changed internet provider so it was difficult to monitor what's actually happening and I've also changed to Octopus um, to get a, a better tariff so I'm really waiting now for the system to settle down and see exactly where we are. We haven't actually had a bill yet so I don't know for definite but uh, it's all looking very positive. Yeah we'll have a look at your app in a minute and you will see the, the savings that you made. I know it's been four four or five weeks but um, yeah September was an okay month there was a reasonable amount of sunshine. So yes we did, did really well in September yeah. uh, it's just the last couple of days when it's been a bit overcast so the battery's not charged fully so I've been uh, so far impressed with the system. Do you mind just telling us a bit about your experience like how how things started off how the installation went? I've been thinking about it for some time um, and I um, posted it up on the local Facebook group and asked if anyone had solar and was willing to talk to me about it and show me their installation. I had two responses, one in Bourne End just around the corner and one in Marlow. Um, the Bourne End one I went to see, very helpful chat, very keen to show me his, his system. Um, it wasn't installed by you uh, but by an electrician he was happy to give me the details for but the one in Marlow was installed by Kimball Tech and she was full of praises I can't remember the name unfortunately and uh, so I decided to to go with you um, and uh, really it's the it's the backup and the support that means a lot to me because it's it's a big expense and you see a lot of potential cowboys advertising on Facebook and, and places it's really difficult to know who to who to approach in the first place but um, I saw a, a series of adverts from, from Kimball and, uh, and I think video clips that you'd done, um, which persuaded me to uh, contact you and give you a try, so. But you had the referral, so that, that yes, Lady Marlowe, yes, exactly, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was really looking for a referral for someone who'd had a system and were ha happy with it. Um, I've been in the building and trade for most of my life, so. I know the sort of things that go yeah, on. And you know what to look out for. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. Yes, yes. And the advice is always go or get at least three quotes. But um, in the end, I, I didn't get any other quotes. I was happy with, with your presentation and so decided to go ahead with it. Brilliant. Thank you. So do you mind telling me a little bit about the installation? Like how you, um, like well, just, just for, the, for the purpose of people watching, like how did the installation go? What was the first steps? and from start to finish? How was well, we, we had a, a salesman come round, um, Nick, I think it was, to explain the system. Um, and then uh, we signed on the dotted line and we were given a date, some probably four or five weeks um, in advance. Um, and having been in the building industry most of my life, I know that very few people stick to a date. So um, I meant to phone in the day before just to check, but I forgot. And then on, on the due date, eight o'clock in the morning there's a knock on the door and there's a Kimball van outside the house ready to go so once again very impressed <laughs> especially as the, oh, I think I think they they contacted me to say that they were having trouble with the weather so they would be a week later than they originally said but um, the communication was excellent throughout so they turned up they turned up uh, knock on the door at eight o'clock in the morning um, and then just talk me through your installation were there any challenges at all with uh, the, the main challenge was, was working over the flat roof of the garage because it's not very strong um, and so I put in some temporary supports underneath the, the roof and built a, a working platform on the, on the top because it, it, normal scaffolding wouldn't have worked, it was too heavy. And, uh, so I, I did that bit and then uh, they came with all the kit and off they went. They were happy with what I'd done and uh, left them to it really. <laughs> Supplied the coffee and biscuits. <laughs> 
well, being in the trade, you know that that's how that's how we're fueled. Co absolutely. Coffee and biscuits. Absolutely. It's the best yeah. way to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee and biscuits and pay up on time. That's the <laughs> um, you mentioned earlier on when we were talking in the kitchen, you were saying um, um, suddenly there was someone in the airing cupboard. Do you want to talk us through the, the device you've got in the airing cupboard? Oh yes, yes, we have a, um, an eddy in the airing cupboard which is linked into the solar and that's a, a gadget which uses any, apparently any excess solar power to heat the water in the hot water cylinder. So it's just, just a, a little box on the wall, it's connected into the immersion heater cable and uh, we now benefit through um, hardly using any gas to heat the water. I'll just, I'll just have it on for half an hour each day to boost it and that's all we've needed so far. So that's yeah. that's been well worthwhile. Yeah, it's it I, I really like the eddy um, because it removes the need for your boiler to burn hydrocarbons. Um, so basically you are reducing your you know your yeah. you're, you're reducing your carbon footprint by the fact that you're now heating up your hot water from, from free electricity rather than burning hydrocarbons. You so you mentioned about your switching energy supplier. Yeah. Yeah, talk me through that. Uh, well, we were with um, OVO um, when we moved here a year ago. That was the supplier that was already already hooked up, and so we carried on with them. But then uh, again, I looked into um, recommended suppliers. There's loads of uh, video clips on YouTube about solar panels and, and all that sort of stuff, and the general recommendation was to change to Octopus. So that's what I've done. And uh, then you've, you've gone for the flux tariff, is that right? Yes, yes, you have to change the Oxbus first and then once that's set up, you then apply to change to the flux tariff. Yeah. So I haven't. Do you know what it is about the flux tariff? Uh, no. Yes, you, you get um, a, a period of several hours in the night where the, uh, the charge is, is very low, um, but the offset is late in the afternoon, early evening, you get several hours where it's, where it's quite high. And so I believe the idea is to use your battery power in the, in the evening for that period and then if necessary charge the battery up overnight on the cheap rate. Yeah. So with Flux as well, they actually reward you well for feeding back into the grid. Mm. So now that you've had your installation done, the next thing is to get something called a, an export MPAN number, which we can help you with. I think and, I've done that already. Okay, brilliant. So yeah, and, and then, and then they, should, they will pay you for any export that you yeah. do. So I mean, you've got a 9.5 battery, which um, which I think for the both of you in the home is going to be plenty to serve your your needs. But um, you know, when you do get those sunny days and you're generating a lot more than you need, yeah. and the your ready's done its job, the hot water tank's already up to temperature, then uh, you're going to be exporting. And at that point, Octopus should reward you very 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 well for um, yeah. you know for, for exporting. I might need a little bit of coaching on how to get the best best from it but yeah I, we're, we're, the, we're right there benji's, the benji's the man to speak yeah, to yeah benji yeah <laughs> well now i can change the wi-fi password as well so i can always help yeah <laughs> what what spurred you on then to to get solar panels installed on your property well, I, I figured that uh, we had some money in the bank in savings um and i figured that if the interest i was gaining on that was less than the saving i would make in electricity costs then it makes sense to have solar panels and then there's also the environmental um, part as well, saving on, on gas and fossil fuels and, and uh, I think it's the right thing to do. Yeah, I mean that's why that's why I'm doing it for, for, for the planet but uh, it's a bonus that it that it does, yeah. um, you know, you have got some energy security now so if things do go, if the energy prices do suddenly shoot back up again yes. then at least you know you've, you've covered yourself off there. Yeah, well and I was looking at it in a, a time when energy prices were, were going up and up and up um, I think they stabilised a bit and possibly come down a little at the moment, but who knows what's going to happen in the future. Yeah. It's, it's never going to go down much, is it? No, no. But you, no, you've, you've done the right thing. And now with battery storage as well, you've, you can now store any excess generation. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you, you're, you're going to be very, very self-sufficient. Yeah. So you went for Give Energy. This is a 3.6 kilowatt inverter. And then down here, you've got a 9.5 kilowatt hour battery. And there's the two of you that live at home. Is, yeah. yeah, yeah. So this is a, a quite a big battery, um, very, very popular. Probably like the best-selling battery in the UK. And uh, yeah, at, at, at 9.5, you've got plenty of energy there that will see you through the daytime, uh, through the evening. And you, I imagine you wake up in the morning, doing there's still energy in the battery. Uh, you, yes, usually. Yeah, 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 yeah. How, how have you been finding it so far? The battery charge levels. Well, while the weather's been sunny, it's been great. It's been charged up to full by sort of 11 in the morning. Um, but yeah, 11. 11, 12 yeah. o'clock, depending on, on how, how bright the sun is, obviously. But um, 
the it, last the last few days it's been a bit overcast, so it's not not fully charged. But it's better again today because the sun's been out. Yeah, I mean, it's showing here you, you're you're fully charged here. Yeah. Back to, I think we looked on the app and it was about 89, percent wasn't it? Yes. So yeah, you plenty of juice. So yeah, this so this is this is the this is the inverter. So Give Energy 3.6 kilowatt inverter, and here down here we've got a 9.5 kilowatt hour battery. Uh, these are the DC isolators, so this isolates the solar panels. So if we ever need to turn them off, that's how they get isolated. And then this is the AC isolator, which is the one that disconnects the uh, the whole system from the grid. You've also got a generation meter here as well, so that tells you how much energy you've, you've generated. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. All fits on the wall. Comes off about 20 centimeters, yeah, 10 that. centimeters. Yeah. 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 It's a very very neat and tidy installation but the lads made a nice tidy job of all the, all the wiring which uh, is, a, is a good thing something that I always look for.